Well, thanks for joining me. See if you can guess what these numbers mean. 66, 39, 27. Do you have a guess? Today we're going to be talking about how to find books in the Bible. The Bible is God's word to us. It tells us how he created us and how much he loves us. The Bible has 66 smaller books. Is that what you said? Okay. And 39 of those books are in the Old Testament. The Old Testament tells us about life before Jesus came to earth. And 27 of those books are found in the New Testament. If the Old Testament tells us about life before Jesus came to earth, what do you think the New Testament tells us about? That's right, life after Jesus came to earth. We need to learn to find the books in the Bible so we can know that God loves us and how he wants us to live our lives. Let's practice. My magnifying lens here. See if you can find the first book in the Bible. That should be easy. Maybe some of you already know what it's called. Let's look. I'm going to turn past a few pages because we have the table of contents and some other things. But let's see if we can find the first book in the old in the whole Bible in the Old Testament. My Bible says Old Testament right there. So the next page I find Genesis. Is that what you got? All right. Now let's see if we can find the last book in the Old Testament. So we're going to skip over. We're going to keep going till we find that page that says New Testament. Like this. And then let's go back and see what that last book is. And it starts with an M. Did you get Malachi? Great. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can find a book called Psalms. Psalms is a book of songs about God. So find Psalms. This is an easy way to do it. Hold your Bible like this. Put your thumbs up and then try to find the middle with your thumbs. Oh, I got close. I got Song of Solomon. And there it is. Psalms. Okay. Well, let's see if we can find some books in the New Testament now. See if you can find the first book in the New Testament. So find that page that said New Testament, and then you found that first book. So keep going past the Old Testament. There's Malachi. I'm getting close. There's the page that says New Testament. This is when Jesus comes to earth. So let's see, what's our first book in the New Testament? Did you get Matthew? That is correct. All right. Well, we found Matthew. It's the first book in the New Testament. Let's see what the last book in the New Testament is and also the last book in the whole Bible. So we can just flip on over to the end. We could get to the very last book. Oh. I see it here. It starts with an R and it's kind of a long word. I get revelation. Is that what you got? Good. Okay. Well, let's go back to Matthew. Matthew is the first book in the New Testament, but it's also the first what we call gospel. Gospel just means good news. And the Gospels, there are four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And each of those Gospels tell us about Jesus's life on earth. So let's see if we can find those four Gospels. Okay, we have Matthew. So we'll keep going until we see the next book. I already told you what it is. Do you know? You know what you're looking for? It's a short word. Mark. Correct. All right, let's keep going. What do you think the next Gospel is? I'll give you a hint. It starts with an L. Did you say Luke? That's correct. All right. We have one more gospel. 
and it starts with a J. Can you guess what that is? All right, I'm gonna keep going. Ooh, Luke, I found it. Did you find it? It's John. All right, can you say those four gospels with me again? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Great job. Okay, we'll keep going. We wanna find our GA Jam theme verse. Do you know what that is? It's found in Hebrews 12, two. So let's find that together. It is in the New Testament. So we're already in the New Testament, but we're going to go past the Gospels, and then we're going to go past a book called Acts, and then we'll go through lots of little letters. These are letters that Paul wrote, so we're going to keep going till we get to his last letter, which is Philemon in the Bible, and then you'll see Hebrews. Okay, to find Hebrews 12, you look for a big 12 on the page. I see a big one and a big two on these pages. So I'm going to keep going till I find a big 12. Okay, here it is. And now I look for a little two. All right, and now let's read it together. You can read it with me. Let us keep looking to Jesus. He is the one who started this journey of faith, and he is the one who completes it. He paid no attention to the shame of the cross. He suffered there because of the joy he was looking forward to. Then he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Well, you can continue practicing finding books of the Bible by doing a Bible drill. In a Bible drill, you and your friends stand and face your leader. Your leader calls out one of the books of the Bible. So you and your friends will try to find that book. And when you find it, you step out and your leader will call on you. To follow Jesus, we also need to learn how to pray in addition to reading the Bible. So Jesus taught his disciples how to pray one time when they asked him. Let's see if we can find that verse or those verses in our Bible. Again, we'll go back to Matthew. And we're going to look for Matthew chapter 6. So I found Matthew, the first book in the New Testament, the first gospel. And then I'm going to go to chapter 6 and look for a big 6. And then I'll look for small 9, and we're going to read through verse 13. This, then, is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Your leader or your one of your parents could download uh, the Lord's Prayer Experience on our Kentucky WMU website. This will help you learn how to pray as Jesus taught. Well, I hope you've enjoyed learning about how to find books in the Bible and learning how to pray. And may God bless you as you continue to follow him.